Novak Djokovic has not had the best year as of late. It's not that he's been performing badly by any means, it's just that the Serb has been blackballed by numerous tennis tournaments, including the US Open and the Australian Open, due to his refusal to get a vaccine. But he was recently announced as one of the leading players in the 2022 Tel Aviv Open, and his performance was a sight to see. Let's take a look at how he did. First up, why did Djokovic play at the Tel Aviv Open? The Tel Aviv Open was a recently new addition to the ATP 250 World Tour this year. It hasn't been held since 1999, back when it was a part of the ATP Challenger Series, but after a gap of over 22 years, it was finally back. Not a lot of big names signed on for the tournament, but in September, one person confirmed he was playing that made this event a must-see, Novak Djokovic. Earlier this year, he was barred from entering Australia due to its policy of not giving visas to unvaccinated foreigners, and right before the US Open, he was also barred from entering the United States. Even though a lot of tennis players criticized the move, no country was willing to change up their entire vaccine policy for just one player, and the Serbian player's insistence on not getting vaccinated just made it so he couldn't play. However, there was one country that didn't require foreigners to be vaccinated, Israel. As a result, the organizers of the Tel Aviv Open found the perfect opportunity to maximize ticket sales and viewership by getting Novak Djokovic on board. It would have been his first major tennis tournament in a long time, and it finally gave him a chance to rise up in the rankings. Up next, how did Novak Djokovic perform during the opener? In his opening match for the 20 22 Tel Aviv Open, he was undisputedly the top seed of the entire tournament. His opponent was a Spanish player, Pablo Andujar, a top 100 player but someone who wasn't nearly at the level of our Serbian legend. Djokovic performed in dominating fashion, easing past the Spaniard 6-0-6-3. During the match, the Serb struck eight aces and sealed his victory within one hour and 26 minutes, while also winning 81% of his first service points. During the post-match interview, Djokovic praised the Tel Aviv crowd for the amazing atmosphere it provided. It really really seemed like the entire crowd showed up simply to see Djokovic, who hadn't competed in a major tournament since his Wimbledon triumph back in July. Djokovic said that he became a fan of the court that day, calling it very intimate and loud. In the meantime, Canadian player Vasek Pospisil beat his opponent Eden Lesham 6-3, 6-2 in 80 minutes. With both Djokovic and Pospisil winning in their first matches, they would move on to enter the quarterfinals against each other. Coming up, how did the quarterfinals against Vasek Pospisil go? Not many people expected Vasek Pospisil to enter the quarterfinals of the Tel Aviv Open. After all, he wasn't even ranked within the top 200 players by the ATP. However, his highest ranking to date is number 4, a position he reached back in 2015. So even though the Canadian wasn't really at the top of his game as of late, there's no denying his ability to play. Funnily enough, Djokovic and Pospisil have been really close friends for a while now since they have similar backgrounds, so if there's anyone that can beat a guy like Djokovic, it's someone that has been around him and knows exactly how he plays. So how did the two match up? Well, we all probably already know who won, but it wasn't in the same dominating fashion that we're used to. The Canadian proved to be a far bigger challenge than his ranking suggested, and he lost 7-6-6-3 against the Serbian legend. With that, the 21-time Grand Slam winner moved on to the semifinals, and the underdog Vasek Pospisil unfortunately had to go home. When talking about his performance, Djokovic said that it's always difficult to play against someone you love and respect so much, but at the end of the day, both men went out on the court that day to win, and ultimately, the better man won. That didn't stop Djokovic from endlessly praising his friend's performance, though. Up next, what happened in the semifinals? After Djokovic's big win against one of his best friends, Vasek Pospisil, in the quarterfinals of the Tel Aviv Open, he was set to face Roman Safiulin, a Russian player who once won the Australian Open back in 2015. Although Safiulin hadn't been at the top of his game as of late either, and he was ranked 104th in the world. However, he had a dominating performance at the Tel Aviv Open so far, and believe it or not, this match wasn't exactly a shoe-in for Djokovic either. This would be the first time that the two players would be going head-to-head -head against one another, so even though Djokovic was the favorite to win, no one really knew how his match would turn out. Djokovic had an almost flawless first-set performance, winning 6-1, but the Russian raised his level during the second set of the match significantly, evening out the gap. Ultimately, Djokovic managed to snatch a victory during the second set with an overall score of 6-1-7-6-3. Despite the match getting way more tense than anyone had expected, the Serb kept his composure throughout and, with a clear head, won his third straight game. With that, no Novak Djokovic was now ready for the finals, and his opponent was rather difficult this time around. And finally, did Djokovic win during the finals? Novak Djokovic's final opponent during the 2022 Tel Aviv Open was 34-year-old Croat Marin Silic. Silic is currently ranked number 16 in the world, and as the second top seed, he was the only person at the tournament that had a realistic chance of beating him. Additionally, Marin had previously won the 2014 US Open, and he has had numerous amazing performances throughout his career. Considering the fact that Djokovic hadn't 
faced an opponent of this level in months, this was another match that could have gone either way. However, as we all know, Djokovic is usually the favorite going into any match, if it's not against Roger Federer or Rafael Nadal. The two had faced off against each other over a dozen times in the past, with Djokovic winning all but two of those matches. So what happened this time? As you probably expected, Djokovic dominated the match with a straight sets victory over his Croatian opponent. Following the match, Djokovic jokes with his opponent by saying he's sure they'll continue to beat their younger adversaries for a while now. With this win, Novak Djokovic won his 89th singles career title, the fifth most singles title in the world. He is only three titles behind Rafael Nadal, who has 92, and in total, making him second among active players. In order to reach the top spot, he would need 21 more titles to beat Jimmy Connors' 109 singles titles in the Open era, and many people think he can do it, if he's allowed to play, that is. Now, let's take a look at some other related news. First, Djokovic's cute moments with Crying Boy goes viral. During the semifinals of the Tel Aviv Open, Novak Djokovic noticed a boy in the stands crying after seeing his hero live. The Serbian player immediately went up to the boy and handed him his racket, which predictably led to even more crying. The cute moment went viral on pretty much all social media platforms, and when Djokovic posted the video on his Twitter account, it quickly gained over 18,000 likes. It's great to see the nicer side of the Serbian player instead of the controversial side for once. Up next, Rafael Nadal beats Djokovic's milestone. At a time when many people are expecting Djokovic to beat Nadal's most well-known milestone, the Spanish player seems to have gotten the upper hand on the Serbian in another record. Nadal recently became the second-ranked player in men's singles tennis, and with that, he became the third oldest player ever to reach such a rank, a record that was previously held by Djokovic. Right now, Nadal only trails Roger Federer, who was 37 years old, and Ken Rosewald, who was 40 years and 7 months. If Nadal decides to stick around for a little longer, he might just do it. And finally, Djokovic confirms that he's not thinking of retirement. Novak Djokovic has already achieved everything a tennis player could ever dream of in his career, and with the likes of Roger Federer and Serena Williams retiring from the sport, many people are wondering when the Serbian legend would also be making his retirement. However, when talking at a recent press conference, Djokovic said that he had no plans to retire as of right now. He believes that he is still fit and ready to go up against the best players in the world, and considering his performances at Wimbledon and the Tel Aviv Open this year, there isn't really anyone that can question that sediment. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think Djokovic could slowly make his way back to the top? Let us know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.